episode 5 of Pokemon Soul Silver. What you'll actually notice is, um, if you saw everything just what happened, everything just happened, I have got significantly better video editing, and also we have an intro. How amazing is that? Now, um, off camera you've seen the the shiny hunty montage for the shiny um, castle we've got going on, and we're just going to first the guy at the top of Bell Sprout Tower. Oh, Sprout Tower, sorry. Right, so we're gonna get 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 straight into this, and hopefully defeat Faulkner at the end of this episode. Hopefully. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to beat this guy without losing any Pokemon. All right, so we got Casper. So that's what we named. Named our. I'm gonna switch into Mandy. So I'm gonna use Mandy just to hang all of this because we got fair amount. We got fair levels on her. All right, so. So also the, the thing about the way this shiny works is this shiny glitch works is you can't get shinies for genderless Pokemon. So. They are included in the Nuzlocke. If we bump into like a Magnemite, we're not shiny hunting for it. We're just gonna move on and okay, keep battling. Um, so yeah, that's that's the that's another slight rule for this method. Um, oh, really? Come on, no, don't go, don't go for five turns. Don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me, please. Oh, don't, don't. We're not, we're not got, we've got horrible RNG. Uh, finally. Oh, and we got the crit, yes. I was worried about that, hoot hoot. So I'm glad Mandy didn't go down. Now I'm actually going to switch, ooh, like quick attack, that's convenient. I'm going to switch out here for Hornet. Hornet can do this. Hornet's got this. Easy. Easy, right? Because Bellsprout doesn't deal a lot of damage early on, so. So we're just going to kind of go. Yeah, um, on my DS screen, it's barely noticeable, Hornet's, um, green. But on the, the computer, it's, oh, it's obvious. It's clearly, clearly, um, clearly green. Uh, we've also got a few other fun, fun things going on that are coming up in the, the channel soon, so be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss them. Or at least subscribe. I like it, I just appreciate it. Like um, yeah, we've got, we got something new in the works. Um, almost ready to, to roll out um, and if that happens then uh, maybe we've got another couple of games to come in different games that, that are way out there so there we go we've got all, all our Pokemon survived Pokemon are almost at level 8 I think he evolves at 12 so uh, thank you Flash. Ah, oh, just what we need. Flash. Now, actually, wasn't there a cave a route back? I might go explore that a little bit. Um, not right now. Not right now. We're gonna we're gonna go for Faulkner. I'm gonna use that escape route. I think. I know. I actually think I've got. Did I disable battle animations? I wasn't paying attention to them. Yes, I did. My bad. Turn them off when I was shiny hunting, because it it's, takes too long. So we're actually going to go back. Um, sorry, that entire battle would have been pretty boring. I am so bad at using this escape mode. So bad. So yeah, we're going to try and take on Falk now. Um, we've got a bit of a weakness there for... for Falk now. Um, I'll start off by, well, save. Save, of course. If I can. So yeah, we've got a bit of a weakness to flying Pokemon there. Um, 
with Bellsprout and Kakuna. So, I think I'll just do the first couple of trainers, see how I go. If I need to grind, I'll go grind. Um, and, yeah. So, we'll do this, uh, yeah, this trainer here. See how we go. We can skip these, but I, I'm not going to skip them in a Nuzlocke, because it's, we just need the experience. All the experience we can possibly get our hands on. Um, yeah. Yeah, we just got to... Well, he's only got one Pokemon. What level are we looking at? Nine. So we've probably took him... Uh, 14? Will it work? No, because they're f normal type. So I'm gonna switch into switch switch out for um Mandy. Oh, I should have healed. Oh, that was a poor poor choice. That was a rookie mistake right there. Should have healed first. Right, we're gonna probably quick attack, and then I can heal. So we're getting into danger. Oh. No, I don't need to heal. I won't heal. I won't waste a potion. We're going to quick attack first, so we're going to go f we're going to move first, essentially. So, uh, we, we, yeah. Okay, so I think I think we're going to be alright because Casper's Casper's gaining some levels. Problem is, this entire gym Casper's almost redundant. No, all our Pokemon are redundant right now because Casper can't hit anything. Um, and the other Pokemon are just weak, weak against flying types. So we literally only got Mandy. The only luck we might have if we um. Go on to the next route and get us a Mareep, but that's only if we've encountered a Mareep, so that's the kind of downside with that whole thing, uh, whole strategy. I might go... No, actually, if I go back, we might encounter a Geodude, which will also be handy. So, why don't we do both of those things? We'll go back and we'll try and go into, we'll go into that cave back there that was on the last route that we didn't go in, see what we encounter. Um, and then see how we go, because, um, I just don't know how we're going to go with Falkner here, he's not, um, exactly going to be an easy, so this, this cave here is actually an account, an account that we haven't been to, so we don't, we don't know what we're going to get in this dark cave, but, because I've, can't use flash yet, so, oh, here we go, this is our encounter. Geodude, I called it. So, um, we'll go for the Geodude. Geodude's seriously going to help us out. We'll get some levels on that dude. Huh. That's interesting. Just found out by accident this in a lol in Geodude. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna go. And we're going to hunt for a Geodude. But before that, before we do anything, we're also gonna find out the other Pokemon we're gonna hunt for. I think. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'll, I'll start off that episode with the. Uh, I'll end off end off next the Faulkner episode. This is the official Faulkner episode with um our next encounter. Okay, so this you know, go smash to this, beat this dude. Then we're gonna come back next episode and with a whole lot of stuff going on, like tons of stuff. I actually gotta read up on this Alolan Geodude that I did not know was a thing on camera for you guys. So, I'm just gonna. Here we go. Ah, uh, where's the Alolan bit? Alolan, Alolan. Alolan Geodude, here we go. Because I just found out about it. Alolan Geodude. Its body is a magnetic stone, iron sand attaches firmly. To all the portions of its body that are particularly magnetic. So, what typing is it? I don't know. 
If you accidentally step on Geodude sleeping on the ground, you'll hear a crunching sound, the feel of shock ripples through your entire body. So we're typing, if we can find that out, I'll let you know. We'll cast Piggly in the level. Uh, Alolan Geotude has the ability Magnapool, whatever that does. So, if I can find out where it says it's typing, that'd be nice. Alolan Geodude is the same height, but weighs a little bit more. Good to know. Huh, there we go, Alolan Geodude is rock and electric typing. That's a unique typing. Hmm. Well, we learned some stuff today. We learned this in Alolan, Alolan Geodude. Which I have no idea where to get. Wouldn't mind, you know, um, catching one of those in our Sun and Moon playthrough. If I knew where, where to even look. Which I don't. I have, I have no idea where to even look. So, um, we're gonna get Shiny Geodude in Soul Silver, right? And we're gonna aim for a a Lolan Geodude in Sun and Moon. We'll see. We'll just see how this goes out, right? I am so pumped. I'm so pumped. So, we know our next encounter. We know we've got to do some grinding for Fork now. Now. I might do a little bit of that on camera right now. Get some levels on um, Casper. Get some levels on the other two. Get them all to around 10. I'll get Geodude off camera. Grind him. So we're just gonna we're just gonna get some do some grinding. Have some fun. Um, talk about some more stuff. So if there's an Alolan Geodude, therefore there's an Alolan Graveler. So let's have a look at oh. Graveler. What do we looking for? What are we looking at? Graveler, please. Alright, Graveler. Alright, so we're going to find out Graveler. So there we go. A Lolan Graveler. Looks interesting. Looks way cooler than normal Graveler. Way cooler. Still rock electric. Still rock electric type. That's that's interesting. Alright, so then um what else? Okay. <clears throat> All right. All right. So we're gonna go click. Uh, its preferred food is dravite. After it's eaten this mineral, crystals from inside the Pokemon rising to the surface of its body. Ooh. Whoops, I'm using moves that can't affect it. And then they eat rocks and often get into a scrap over them. The shock of gravel is smashing together cause flash of light and a booming noise. Cool, sounds pretty rough. Uh, what do we got for a lolan girl golem? Because, uh, I don't know, this is all kind of interesting. I didn't even know there was, this was an Alolan Pokemon. Like... Wasn't. Whoa, that's a uh, golem looks awesome. Just saying, just saying, just saying. I might edit a photo in if I if I remember. If I don't, I barely even know how. Uh, save image of a lolan golem. All right, there we go. Done. Right now, lolan golem. It fires rocks charged with electricity. Even the rock isn't fired that accurately. Just grazing an opponent will cause numbness and fainting. Wow. It shoots rocks at people? Because it can't fire boulders at rapid pace, it's been known to seize nearby Geodude and fire them from its back. <laughs> wow, that's a bit of a dick move. It's quite the dick move if you ask me. Alright, so. We learned some stuff about a Lolan Golem. We did some grinding. Um, yeah. I think that's it for this episode. Alright, signing out.